Hello and welcome to Lil Internet Superstar, the tiny, discreet, butterfly tattoo version of my monstrous, full-back Super Mario Inc. of a talk show that airs every Wednesday, right here on Revision 3. Much thought and deep, very serious consideration are required when planning on what tattoo you'd like to get permanently painted on your body. And this is doubly true for tattoos of your favorite celebrities, who, given the fickle nature of Hollywood, might be in and hip today, but washed up and gone tomorrow. And therefore, if you're considering a tattoo of your favorite movie star, musician, or athlete, it's a good idea to consult internet for some examples of how you might get yourself in some serious trouble with your future self-respect. For example, I suspect that whoever owns this calf might seriously regret getting a tattoo of Weird Al Yankovic. But then again, it might actually seem like a good idea compared to his other tattoos of Weird Al's backup band. There's drummer John Bermuda Schwartz, bassist Steve J, and guitarist Jim West. I imagine every time this guy hears the Weird Al classic like a surgeon, all he can think of is where to find one who's willing to amputate all of his ink-stained limbs. Or at least he needs to see a good psychologist. And maybe the nut who got a tattoo of TV's most lovably neurotic shrink, Dr. Fraser Crane, could refer him to someone good. I guess the silver lining here is that when he gets sick of it, he can just tell people it's a tattoo of President Ford. Yes, there are almost too many cringe-worthy celebrity tattoos for us to cover in a little internet superstar, a horribly misshapen Conan O'Brien, a bald and insane Britney Spears. The only thing worse than the show Saved by the Bell is a tattoo of the lead character, Zack. In his entire career of making me hate him, what has Tony Danza ever done that could possibly make someone like him so much to have him on their body forever? Are you guilty of being a nitwit? If you have a Judge Judy tattoo, yes, you are, and your punishment should be going to life in solitary confinement so nobody ever has to look at it. Michael Moore looks even more hideous on someone's fat, pimply thigh than he does in real life. Come on down, you're the next contestant on You're a Moron. Forget the dogs and cats, get this person spayed or neutered. But all of these pale in comparison to what is not only the worst celebrity tattoo ever, but the worst tattoo ever. Patrick Swayze in a Chippendale shirt as a centaur. Both Swayze and the People for Ethical Treatment of Animals should file a lawsuit against whoever scarred their body and my soul with this abomination. But these tattoos teach us that no matter what silly little ink scraping we got while drunk in college, it could always be very worse. And that's why celebrity tattoos are today's Internet Superstars. Do you have a nomination for an Internet Superstar? Send it to martin at revision3.com. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you down at the tattoo parlor where I need to get this tattoo of Patrick Norton removed from my torso.